Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a technology and business consulting company that helps organizations initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and processes. This video, along with others on our channel, should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, peer overviews, and take part in lessons we've designed to help you. We're focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. So if, you, if you're you know, on a previous version or on any version actually of planning, uh, you're either using HAL or using ODI or you know, maybe you're using the Outline Load Utility, Informatica, you need to, you know, get dimensions into your plan. Maybe you're not using them all because it's manageable. But uh, usually, if you have a large, you know, large dimensions that change frequently, you want to have a way to update that metadata, and you use the uh, provided adapters. And there's really no way around that. Uh, let's say an example of this: you have a partial dimension build file. So let's say you have, let's say your Oracle and you have 40,000 people, or I don't even know if that's how big they are. You're a company and you have you know, many, many, many people. So you have 30,000 people. Well, people are going to be coming and going, and, and uh, in your, maybe you don't have visibility into all that, and you don't want to supply that, um, or not that you don't want to supply, you don't have access to all that information to do a dimension build. Uh, so you know that you're going to get 10 new people in this department, so you're, you know, you, you have, you just, doing the ads essentially. When you do that in any of these adapters, whether it be HAL, Informatica, or DIM, uh, and you say sort this information, it's only going to sort in the context of what's being provided to the adapter at the, at the point of runtime. So if you have 10 new employees and there are, there's a list of 100, and you say sort, well those 10 employees will be sorted within the 10 and added to the bottom of the 100 and it, it doesn't actually sort them within the hierarchy itself. So how do you get around that? Um, for those of you who have been reading ahead, you can, you, can, uh, you can see that this information, the member information is stored in, in, along with everything else in the HSP objects table. So you can write a query to extract that information in parent-child format and so you know, so at that point, you know exactly what's in the application before you, you run the, the, the uh, metadata uh, integration. And you have the information coming into uh, the file. So if you load that into a table and then, you know, get a unique list of everything that exists and everything that's coming in the door, sort that and push all that back through the adapter. Uh, then you will basically sort everything within the hierarchy. Now I'll caution you that uh, this will take longer than just loading up the 10 records. Um, and if, if having things sorted, is, you know, you get, a, you get away the trade-off. It's going to take a, a little longer to do this uh, because planning is going to go through and say, do I have this? Do I have this? What position is it in? Should I move it? Et cetera. It's going to go through all that logic uh, for things that may or may not have moved within the hierarchy. Um, but this is, if, it, if it's a problem, this is how you can solve it. And the last thing that I want to touch on, I think we're doing pretty good on time. Uh, the last thing that I want to touch on is uh, meta read filters and financial reporting. So financial reporting, if you remember the slide from the beginning, I said that there's two different um, security access methods. One accesses plan, uh, security in the planning repository, and the other one accesses, accesses a filter that gets created by planning in SBase. So effectively, you go into planning, you set up security on all the dimensions, you, you get all that set, you hit the manage you know, database, refresh. On the refresh, you can refresh security, which you should. What that'll do is for all the users that have been set up in planning, it'll create an S-based filter, a native S-based filter inside uh, planning, inside of the S-based cube that gets uh, created. So. If you've ever created a financial report off of a planning application, not using the planning connection, but using a, a straight S-based connection, you'll notice that in menus and dropdowns, you can see the entire hierarchy. You can see the structure, but that doesn't mean you can see the data. You can just see the structure. And you could see, uh, if you're ahead of um, you know, sales in the east, 
and uh, you can see west, south, north, et cetera. If you selected west and you ran the report and you, you weren't allowed to see that, then you know there's no data integrity. You will not be able to see the data, but it could just be confusing from a navigate uh, from an end user perspective. <clears throat> so one of the ways to um, to solve this problem, well, there are two ways. One uses a planning connection. Uh, sometimes that's not advisable. Uh, and then the other way is to create, um, to, to modify the filter in SBase and add a row to it. And there's a, there's a you know, three types of um, filter. You can have read, well, there's four, read, none, write, and meta read. And what meta read does is you basically take the read row, copy it, change it to meta read. What that'll do is, is preserve the read access, but it'll filter everything. It'll filter the hierarchical structure no matter what you look at. If you're in the native Excel add-in member selection, if you're in smart view member selection, it'll, you know, if you're in the, in the native tool or in planning, uh, it, it'll be filtered out and you won't see that hierarchical structure. And you can build a process to effectively go, you know, when you do the refresh from planning to S-space, the next step in the process before you let all the users back in is go and update the filters and, and, and tag this uh, meta read line onto them. And so by doing that, then you can, you know, ensure that your users, when they, no matter what tool that they're looking at, how they're accessing this, this you know, planning information or reporting off of it, you know, they're not seeing that extra, extra hierarchical structure that they may not have access to. <clears throat> 